Hi, I'm Jean Nolte, editor at Fonts and Porter. And I'm Colleen Tauke. I'm the sewing specialist at Fonts and Porter. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to make a really easy block for the quilt called Broken Lines. To get the pattern for this quilt, go to fontsandporter.com slash quilting quickly. Well, this is about as easy as you can get, I think. <laughs> if you can make strip sets, you can make this quilt. Mm -hmm. So this quilt is uh, packs of two and a half inch strips and then a constant background or alternate fabric cut into two and a half inch strips. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we need to do is make strip sets that have three of the plain and three of the print mm -hmm. in each. Exactly. So when you're making strip sets, it's good to sew one direction the first time, the other direction the next time. The way I remember to do that is I always sew with the light one on the top. Like So I would choose this and always sew with that one on the top, and then you'll automatically reverse your sewing direction each it, time. It works. It's a, great, it's a great way. So think of your background or your neutral fabric, place it on top each time. It keeps that strip, strip set from getting a real um, kind of a gentle glide to it after a while, and especially when you're doing one this wide. It, it's going to get off. They'll get so. crooked. Yep. The other thing that's important is pressing. And you'll notice if you look at the back here, all of the seams are pressed toward the darker fabrics. Mm -hmm. And this will make your seams nest when you join your segments together. So this is one strip set. We're going to cut segments that are 12 and a half inches. So they'll basically be 12 and a half inches square. So I'm going to just, I'm using a 12 and a half inch ruler here to make it, it really easy. It seems to work out perfectly. I'm going to cut my first section off of there, and then you need to flip it around. I just cut it a little bit extra. So you and clean up all those selvages. No, no matter what happens, the fabrics, each of them varies a little bit in their mm -hmm. width, so the selvages aren't going to always be perfectly right. aligned. So you clean so it up. So there's one, and then I'm just going to continue Oops. down the strip. You should be able to get three of these out of each strip set. Now when you're making your strip sets, you're going to be using all the different varied pieces, uh, the two and a half that come in your in your, your packs. Vary the placement of the colors within it, have a little fun. Um, so don't worry good. about being um, putting three of the tans together, three of the dark browns. They, it's, it's fun to they get pick three. Out. And you'll see like these lighter colors seem to stand out a little bit more in the quilt so we varied whether they were on the outside or the center mm -hmm. in some of the strip sets. Now once you've cut all of your segments you're just going to put them together in rows and obviously you would choose ones from different right. strip sets but you see they just work Keep alternating. They alternate because it's dark on one end and light on the other and then for the second row you're just going to take your block and flip it over so the light hits the dark in each stripe. And that's where that off where you're pressing towards the print or your darker fabrics mm -hmm. will make everything nest up so everything stays nice and square and aligned as so, you're working. Yes. As you go to put these together those seams will nest because they go opposite directions and you'll get and you great won't have to pin points. very much. It's great. <laughs> right. And that's all there is to it. You join all of your segments in rows, join the rows. We did use the leftover strips for the binding. The great part about this quilt and this simple pattern is that you could pick any package of pre-cut two-inch strips that you enjoy, pick a background, and have fun with it. It would be a great donation quilt, a great college quilt because it goes together really quickly. Very quickly. So enjoy. Thanks for joining us today. To see more of our video tutorials, visit our website.